What is going on, Savage Life family? Today we are looking at Quantum Scape ticker symbol QS, currently priced at fifty-seven dollars and eighty-five cents. It seems like a beautiful stock at the moment. It's up four hundred and eighty-seven dollars for the year, but recently it dumped. It dumped epically from a height of one hundred and thirty-one, indicated here on Robinhood, all the way to a low of. $49.96. It's uh, roughly in that range. You have to remember that Robinhood doesn't give the exact high high or low low at the current moment, but we are just doing rough estimates because the current number doesn't matter at the moment. What matters is what caused the stock to spike over $48 in the past week. And I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you right now. Yes, uh, this guy here. Acknowledge the huge gains the stock had prior to its recent decline and said I think the stocks worth buying into weakness Kramer also warned viewers that there could be more declines to come as the company's battery technology is not yet in production but he did not explain how long it will take for it to be in production and if you did not know it's currently uh, 2021 so we have about four years until they are projected for their first commercialization of this battery quantum scape released a presentation on its solid battery technology on december 8th 2020 and the solid state technology charges to 80 percent capacity in just 15 minutes and has greater than a 300 mile range which is currently the cap for the lithium batteries used on commercialized ev vehicles on the current at the current moment but on top of that it has a long usage life and it's non-combustible so longer life faster charge greater charging capacity longer mileage why would it every ev company hop onto this innovating feature uh that's the thing so if everything goes according to plan yes i do believe this here will be an extremely game-changing company obviously but on january 4th seeking alpha published an article pointing to several risks with QuantumScape solid state batteries that make it completely unacceptable for real world field electric vehicles, which caused law offices of Howard G. Smith to issue a security fraud investigation, which if you guys don't know what it is, it's a white collar crime that primarily involves mispresenting information investors use to make decisions. So pretty much they are stating that QuantumScape did not give out correct information in their presentation and caused a lot of investors to jump onto this company when it was at a low of this 50 to 60 dollar price range and caused it to spike all the way up to 131 dollars bringing their market capitalization up and pocketing investors money and at this peak during the month quantumscape was valued higher than either ford motor Fiat, Chrysler, two automakers with billions in revenue. There's a lot to think about QuantumScape and its potential, but it appears the market got ahead of itself in its enthusiasm. Like, I am currently excited about the company as well. If everything does go according to plan, there's no doubt in my mind this number could reach past the $200 mark. But when misrepresentation of this company here in articles and investigations of fraud are released it does bring a lot of question to the investor so i currently don't have the trigger fingers at the current moment even if it is at an appealing price at this moment here if it does by any chance happen to dip under 50 dollar range again i will be planning to go ahead and grab myself some shares and as long as this doesn't jump over the 60 dollar to 65 dollar mark point I still think like it is a healthy buy and we just have to give it some time and let this investigation die down a bit. But even with the recent sell off, the stock has more than doubled in barely six weeks. As you can see here, still up over 43% with this massive sell off. So obviously if you bought in at the highest high when it was at $131, that it was a pretty bad decision. And if you're losing plenty of money now, I could only imagine what it feels like because it is gonna take some time to go ahead and hit back to that mark that it was. 
But if you're planning on holding on to the company long term, it doesn't really matter since it is an innovating technology. And by 2025, it is projected to be over two, three hundred dollars. Another thing you got to keep in mind is that QuantumScape filed an amendment form S1 with the US SEC on December 30th of December 2020, registering 306 million shares of its Class A common stock for resale which will have them receive up to an aggregated amount of as you can see here 208 million seven hundred and twenty four thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars from the exercise of all these warrants now a lot of you new investors may think well is it that good for the company to a certain extent for the long term yes it is good for the company depending on what they plan on doing with that money but for investors like us, they lowered the value of their share since 306 million additional shares are now in circulation. So until demand catches up with supply, it could take some time to ride this stock price a little up unless hype drives it up, of course. So do keep in mind that QuantumScape is not expected to commercially launch its products until at least 2025. I do have here a couple stock predictions on Wall Street Investor and it's estimated by 2022 the stock price could hit 270 to 290 and by 2025 we're looking at over 700 to 800 dollars as long as the hype continues to drive the company forward and the commercialization goes as planned in 2025. So there you have it that's what we think of QuantumScape. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like, subscribe, and comment for more news and updates. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.